Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Zhengjiang Legendary Survival Challenge as we continue here for episode 3 from turn 35 in the winter season of 206. So we are still serving out our contract against Yuan Shao and we'll target his territory to try to build up our score here for fame and fortune. At the highest tier, there's a chance for gold items. So we'll try to get paid off of that. And thus we'll maybe stop attacking them and instead focus on Yuan Shao proper. Huh. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go here. We'll lose some of this. We have movement and we should hit this in maybe a turn or two. We couldn't hit either army, which was kind of weird, but they're stepping in the forest, which makes it a little bit more difficult. We might just take some satisfaction boost. This is a four turn one. This is an eight turn one. This is a six turn one. We'll do it in the shortest time order. Aside from that, we picked up Gunning. He's not so happy. What if we... Yeah, what if we go negative income for a little bit? We can eventually trade some territory to Cao Cao to kind of combat this negative income. He can pay us, basically. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Or they can pay us. There we go. And we'll be in positive territory. No big deal. Let's continue. All right, he's going back to defend it. All right, Gondu gets destroyed. Zhuge Liang gets summoned. They're counterattacking. Not going super well. Oh, then we take her first to get some fame and fortune score. Three generals. I think we can delegate this fight. Not a big deal. We would like to get infamy above 125, which is like the next tier. Hmm, delaying one turn of sieging. You know what? Instead of going for something that requires sieging, let's go for something that doesn't require sieging. Nothing else is really happening anywhere. Gunning. Not gonna get any negative factors from lack of purpose because he does have a court position. If we get more money, we can try to set up more marriages, but in the meantime, this is pretty much it. Nope. We'll take Bohai and the port, easy to grab, and then we can come down here, take Yuan Tan's territory, and then trade it to Cao Cao. We'll pass. Okay, so we got a too large city. We still have eight food, which means we can actually increase the rank later. But let's get this upgraded so that we get the improved um, garrison associated with that. Yeah, nothing else really matters. Can we reach? Yes, we can. And we'll quickly grab this. We'll gift it.
，斗志重燃，激情更盛。昂扬斗志。Yeah, they can't really stop us, and then we'll go grab this. Easy targets, and then maybe we'll work our way back here, depending on if we want to keep this. Yeah, it's high enough that we probably get a decent deal. We have better items than that. Maybe we trade it later. Still pretty high value. We can achieve a Guess I don't need this deal with him. Oh, summon himself on the field. Coalition with Sun Ce. Not right now. We might want to go take them out before they... Uh, who cares? If they take Cao Cao's territory, they take Cao Cao's territory. We only work for him to get paid. We don't work for him for him to keep the land. We'll make him have stock. And I think we go for this. Ventan still has land over here. But we can end him in the north. All right, not much. We do have a decent saving. We don't need to adopt him. He has a position. So it's basically finding him a wife. Optional. But we can do it. Strategist, okay. Not very happy and also disloyal. So not a great pickup here. What we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit more money. We're going to do a... Uh, Chain marriage to see who she spawns, and then we'll fire her. Poison volley. Okay, that works. Give him an item and find him a job. He's going to need a title. And we're going to need a title that has some sort of percentage decrease of satisfaction. This will do. So desire higher office, we want 50% down. That's more long term, basically. Alright, we're going to be good. Not yet. I actually kind of want to see his army take Bohai back, then we can take out his army and Bohai as well. Unique chance, let's see if we can get it. Nope. Alright, I got four points. Now let's get four more points. So we're not going to get any fame and fortune for this. I think there's one more payment on turn one. So I think we do need to build it back up to the highest tier before then. We just have to probably get way or something like that. Oh, we can't get there. We don't need to heal anymore. Yeah, we want to drop this a bit more, so we want to be in friendly territory. Alright, we're good.
that value is getting really high up there. You can't use the P-Steel for this, but in the future, maybe we can force it through if we beat him up a bit more. About seven turns on this deal. There's a zero turn, so seven turns left. All right, so he fully healed. We're going to work around him. We're going to go sneak behind. All right, wiping out Yentai will be nice, or he will be moved down to the south. We'll pay for your divorce, and we might use him as a marriage later. See, he's, he's not fully healed yet. He takes this if we're positioned correctly, which we're not going to be. But if we are, we can we can get him back. Maybe we go for Ping Yuan. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is, it's a trade. It's, this is easy take. We go out this way. Uh, maybe we hold on, and then we trade it for money. We we need cash. Tatal is very generous. Wow. Excellent. We'll save up the cash for future use. And then we... We don't need to do that. Yeah. We're at a good place. We take this, and then we loot behind. If he takes that, he'll be even more injured, and we can maybe get him. Liu Qi? Hmm. I don't really want Liu Qi. Five points now, huh? That's a significant jump. All right, now is, do we want to upgrade this in the future? There's honestly not really anything we would like to particularly build at a small city tier. Like, small regional city. Fifth slot, probably put a military forge down. Just to get some items, maybe. But we can't get tier 3 because we don't have the resource for it. So I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, they replenish fast. We're basically gonna steal Tsao bankroll here with these two settlement trades. We'll pick up a little bit extra infamy. And also pick up more loot from that so that we can heal. So also we'll worry about the repair cost, and we can get like maybe two thousand with this. Close enough. All right, now we heal up and we can go attack Yuanshao again, keeping that high. Sounds good. Now with our current infamy level, 20 point prestige, once we get to this 50 tier, we probably want to make a trip back to take the temple back. Because at level 3 temple, we get 30 points prestige. That boosts us to our first tier. And then we can trade it away on the same turn, basically. And doesn't really hurt our one county setup. I think we are we're fine. Finding a wife business can wait. We don't, we don't really need more characters. We, everyone sort of has a thing. Incense master, assignment, assignment. 
you can kind of, we can do a little circle dance. Zhang He on the field. Okay. They, they can't beat us. Not worried. Got a new shirt for you. Alright, three turns. So we can hit this next turn. And then we'll be up at this tier for the final payment, hopefully. Stubborn! Good! So we're unbreakable now. I think we're done. I think we're done with the buildings. We might not do another deal with you after this. Might work for someone else. We'll see. No! No! Why did you do that? Ah, rats. Okay. So, given the situation, I think the contrast is going to end at this tier. We're going to go back. We're not going to be here anymore. There is no easy target left. We have to siege a turn. They could easily get back here in two turns and we could get sandwiched by two armies plus the garrison, which would not be fun. And even if we siege this turn, we get paid next turn at the beginning of next turn. So we wouldn't be able to apply the points we get here. So he, he totally ruined our plan. Uh, let's see. Ownership-wise, nothing really changed. I guess we go back and deal with the yellow turbans. Who would be our next contract? We can continue this contract. That could be a thing. They seem strong. Who is Zhang Yan fighting against, aside from Yuan Shao? Just Yuan Shao. Okay. I guess we could stay and continue the deal. Just disappointed it didn't work out the way we wanted to. I mean, we're strong enough, we can siege it. If they do come with two armies, I mean, even if we, we just don't delegate, right? If we delegate, we can screw ourselves, but we fight it, we should be okay even if they do come back. This is done. This is, this is the setup. Everyone's willing to pay us these, but we really want to get paid uh, some tribute. It's hard to convince them to do so because it's based on military power, and we only have one stack, which limits our options. What if we ultimatum them? <laughs> we'll see. We're never going to have the regular money to set up a second stack. Be Sally. Oh, we fight on the field. We don't delegate here. We don't want to risk anything. This does help us because this will generate fame and fortune. And we might boost ourselves back into the first tier. There's a chance. It's probably not going to be that much, but we'll take whatever points we get, get here. We'll honor our deal. Maybe we just reset it with Tsao continue the the contract with him, since we are trading with him as well, so all the deals. Keep building up Tsao strength. Um, it's gonna be him doing the initial dirty work with the poison volley, all of you guys, poison arrow. Uh, technically, poison arrow should be microed for maximum effectiveness, but we're gonna kind of ignore that for now. Oh, he got discovered already? Run away, run away. Stay away from us. Long distance shot. We get everyone.
Uh, what a waste of poison arrow. It's okay. It's okay. And against cavalry is a terrible use, but whatever. No, don't don't step up. Okay, this is just messing us up now. He shot them. He he did he did his thing. Get out. We'll ignore him. Until he realizes he's surrounded by bandits. Alright, we absolutely don't want to wipe everyone because we want to have another fight next turn for infamy farming. So we, we, we let them escape. Yeah, we didn't need to really micro that hard. It's it's fine. We wasted all those arrows. This fight was won. Just to be extra careful, we'll take even the 1% replenishment to heal up Zhengjiang a little bit more. Who cares? Uh, I don't need that. Especially since we uh, decimated a lot of their forces. So we don't get paid again, I guess. There's no more additional payment. Uh, this can't be medium, right? Less than 300, please. Wow. We should have fought it. Twenty-five points of infamy. It boosts us, but then we are not going to be able to heal this turn, which could really be bad. It's okay. We have insane replenishment. I'm not too worried. Even if he comes, he can't reach us. Yeah, just take that. I guess there's no more payment. I think that we got the last one already. Yeah, let's make you have stock as well. No. He decides not to take it. Okay, I think he has opportunity against us. Well, he's finally moving. Eventually, might get wiped, actually. If he's not careful. Oh, we do get paid one more time. Come on, Unique. Come on, Unique. Sounds all. Don't be stingy. Uh, first is a single G, now it's a double G. It's not what we're looking for. Alright, the deal is gonna end. So we have no incentive to help him at this point. I could go take this. He can't reach back. There's another army somewhere on the field. Uh, pick up Roar. We have the final four points of satisfaction. So at this point, I think we can go up a tier as well. And since we're most likely going to go back to the contract with Cao Cao again, we might as well continue this. Okay. We're going to take this. And then trade it to Cao Cao. A couple reasons. One, we get 
slightly more infamy. Two. We can pick the direction our army faces afterwards. And three, we like cash. And Cao Cao's a very generous man. Which is why we will work for him. And the beauty of working a second deal against Yuan Shao is that we can wipe him early and reset the deal. Yeah, this is good. Mm, don't really care. Unless we see like a unique available. Still 22, huh? Alright, Vinshaw's down to one territory, but he still has a full stack, so it's probably gonna take some other pieces of land. He'd be dumb not to. He's not. Uh, what is he doing with that army? So we just reset this. It's not much, but it's fine. And this is actually where we want to pile on the goods that we're never going to use because we're getting a 20 turn deal back. So we want to maximize this opportunity. Normally it's only 10 turn deal, so we're getting extra value for the items that we're throwing in here. And we at least get this initial payment of a thousand. His army is still out there, but that, that's about it. We're almost at 125. So whenever that full stack gets wiped, wherever it is, they're done. In the meantime, we'll go take care of Yuan Tan as well. Yeah, really playing Kingmaker for Cao Cao here. Although I can imagine his corruption just like increasing like crazy due to all this land that we're gifting him. Still not really gonna give us that deal. Actually better. Okay, we're good. Yep, pretty much everything that we need to do, we have done, wherever that army is. Maybe Guanyu wiped it out. Oh, well, he's not wiped yet, so Guanyu has not... Oh, he wiped Guanyu out. Join Coalition. No, it can't really do it, because you're at war with Cao Cao, so it could complicate all the relationship that I'm in. So the ideal format is that he chases after us, picking up territories behind us as we loop around and just continue this vicious cycle where we get nicely paid and keep him basically near death. Like, why, why didn't you... Like, why are you here? What is going on with... Are you going to take it? Are you going to snatch it before we snatch it again? We're going to use this to try to farm our infamy.
It's simple to manage one army. We just need to be mindful of our assignments. We're humble as well. What's going on here? So Guan Yu takes it. None of our business. Um, the only way we can get point is to go after Yuan Shao, but I want him to take something. Uh, I guess we just... We just move back towards it? Like, what else can we do? Yeah, want to drop a little bit more? There's really not much we can do. We're so close to 150, 125. And then we'll get the next tier. And then we really want the temple at that point. So we do want to go back at that point. Uh, we have to pay him too much to get this coalition going. He likes us. We keep working for him, probably going to become best friends. We can help him fight Sun Tzu next. Help him, you know, paint the map. Where did their army go? Ambush? Or disappear somewhere? I'm a little concerned about walking headfirst into this. We can walk next to a friendly unit, because even if we bump into an ambush, we'll be fighting it together. Alright, we'll just stand here. I don't know what's going on. He just peaced out with them, so they're not at war. They're not... nothing's happening between them. He's gotta be somewhere. I mean, he's surrounded on this side. He can't really siege that in a turn. He's... he's gotta be near. Maybe Cao Cao's army just charges in. Show us where the ambush is. Come on, Cao Cao. Who's the dumb one? No one. No one even tries. Everyone. Oh, we see the army, though. We see the army. It's really weak. This is a newly formed army. Where's the other stack? I have to step into this? Uh, we're going to get ambushed, aren't we? Unless... No, that's not him. If I really don't want to get ambushed, I could potentially spend the money, hire her. Take a look. Ah, they, they recall themselves. Okay, then, then this is... Just disown her. We have so much cash. I mean, we're, we're bandits. We're hoarding. It's normal. So we siege them. The mighty Yuan Shao has fallen. Or will fall. We can maybe take it in two steps. Get some infamy from this. We'll see. We will have our options. Yeah, he timed out. So apparently we have positive food even without him, which means we can use this now, which will boost our satisfaction. There's no more. Yeah, there's no upkeep either. He can gain levels, I guess. Why not, right? All right, that's that. Uh, we should be able to jack up this next turn. Or we can keep people happier. 
It's all good. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's over, man. Your two sons will carry on your legacy. They're still alive. We don't need more loot. If anything, we want less loot. Where's our payment? We didn't get paid. Should I just wait? We can keep them alive. Uh, I don't want to delegate this, though. We're going to siege one more turn until we get paid. We will control the pace of this. Give us at least one payment. I mean, even at this point, Demand Tribute still doesn't work on him. 14.7. What, what's, what's holding you back? What's holding you back? Just we don't have enough relative null. Yeah, even with the 10.8. I guess he also absolutely hates us. See, we're, we're friends now. And yeah, this is just we're weak. All right. We got the message. Yeah, our, our military supply is just bloating. So he's going to come out and fight us. We're going to get reinforcements. Oh, it's also got protector of heavens. Um, this way we can avoid all casualties and maybe farm some duels. It'd be a win-win for us. Alright. So because we have ally units showing up, well, all we have to do is hide our cavalry. You will go find a duel. I will not be participating. Um, maybe go poison some of the Tal Tal's unit? Who knows if they're going to be friends or foes in the future. Gotta anticipate it. Alright, can we get a duel with you? How is he not visible? Okay, we can, but it's not guaranteed we win. Worth a try, though. We want him to build up some experience. I mean, yeah, it's gold weapon, but we have a debuff on this. It's morale debuff. 0.4k. Wow, his weapon's good. Gosh. Here, let me get the experience if you can't get it. So the way we can poison them is not that we target them, we just let them, you know, fight and then we, we poison them. Here, let me get some experience from you. You guys fight. We're here only for the duel. Get the throwing axes execution animation. That'd be really nice. Ah, that that's pathetic. I did my part. Just gonna go back into the forest. So we don't distract the real fighting.
right? We basically sneak across. So like this, we, we just target this and then we can shoot into Tautal's unit. What? What are you doing? Wait, why? Wait, why are we not... Can we not shoot because of friendly... This feels super bugged. He just walked into them. Oh, like it just got cancelled. Alright, then I'm gonna go behind this guy. Can I shoot him? Good. Stop. What are you doing? Pull out your boat. There we go. Yep. Friendly poison. We're helping. Alright, let's get behind another unit and try to do the same thing later. Hang in here, hang in here, another 20 seconds, please. You'd be such a juicy target. We just don't like them having nice things, you know? We, we can't have the nice things, so they can't have it either. Now don't don't army loss, please. Huh. No, they moved. Yeah, that's all we can do, I think. If we don't end, can we use one of these. Tower's gonna do some extra damage for a little bit. Are they chasing anything in particular? They're chasing that? Dumb chase. I don't think we can find another target. I think worth it. We kept some of them alive, so we still have the siege for more infamy farming. And we get fame and fortune. Not enough to improve our payment, but not too bad. We'll get more money here too. Alright, so yeah, not the highest here. No chance for unique, but we do get paid. And now we can just end things. Oh, well we want we want them to help, right? And as this is the wipe, we don't gift this one because fame and fortune doesn't matter now. We'll take the loot and then we'll trade it afterwards. This doesn't really benefit us. Uh, it does, actually. They will pick up the siege and then they will wipe them. We don't wipe out the faction and we get infamy stacks. The only thing is we have to go down to heal. Yeah, we'll let them siege now, right? We just want to control our oh, so much loot from the set, the the sacking it. At least we're now in the next tier. Now we really kind of want that. Even now, four point six. I mean, he's gonna get wiped, so. 
Even if we ultimatum him, it's... Oh, we can't ultimatum him in war. So Cao Cao takes the siege, I'm guessing. Oh. I've never seen this. This is the fates divided Cao Cao Yuan Shao situation. Chang 无人可挡 Congrats to Cao Cao. Defeated his childhood friend turned enemy. I don't care about you. And now we need to enter into another deal with Cao Cao. Who else are you fighting? Who else can we can we be of service? Oh, you have so many. But basically, it's Duchy of Wu, right? These are all vassals. We don't have to fight on. Wow. Okay. Yuan Tan's a little different. Yuan Tan, maybe we continue that war. There's like one piece. Oh, he also doesn't want to piece out. Galgan also only has one piece. So he's probably super poor. And thus super stingy. But yeah, that was nice. Letting Cao Cao beat Yuan Shao gives us that cutscene, or else if we beat him, we don't get that. Honestly, should have just compared it to 2000. Okay, we know which one's better now. Yeah, we just need a lot of armies to pull this off. We can offer items? Oh, we, we can ask for items. We can't offer items. But we can apparently offer food. So basically, food is the only thing we can offer in this deal. Ooh. Wait a minute. This works for us. Because we want that territory. The only thing I'm concerned about is Cao Cao turning on us in this moment. And that's that's the capital. That's not the capital. So there's scattered yellow turbans elsewhere that could cause some issues for us. They don't have much. But like family estate 2000, right? We get 35% of that. We get 35% any sort of tax they have on their land. We also get 35% of any of their trade, which is with Liu Bei right now. So it's not terrible. But... For the purpose of survival, I think we're more interested in setting up a deal with Cao Cao here. Offering him to help fight someone. Uh, very controllable, small scale, one target, quick deal, and done. And we get, we get some payment from him for this. Yeah, it's not going to be much, and, and I'm okay with it not being much. Now, like, basically Cao Cao is not going to fight us. We can heal in his land. We're going to burn through our supplies and get to a port. I don't care if we trespass. Wang Xiu uh, should be working for Cao Cao right now. 
used to be a starting character for Coral. He's from Bay High. That's basically why he's a starting character from Coral. Two items. I'm going to snatch him just for the items. I, I don't think we're keeping him. This is like good trade ammo in the future. Three items. All right, it's not even two. It's three. Like, what would we use him for? he do any... Yeah, he can't really do anything special for us. He can help us generate a wife. That could be a sentinel. Goodbye. You did your part. You'll never see your wife again. We get a poison volley. Everyone's happy. Alright, we got 12 points of satisfaction picked up from three different reforms. Now I'm kind of lost at what we want. Maybe units? Upkeep for shock cavalry, upkeep for shock cavalry would save us a bit of money for sure. And we also get cataphracts here. Okay, alright. That warrants a try. So we have two potential on the bench. Let him do his assignment. It's all good. And we're in this tier. We're going to get into the water. We're going to sail over there. We're going to wipe out Yuntan and finish this contract. Why is... Oh, this one hasn't updated. That's the old one, right? Which actually still gets paid out, by the way. Because the war ended early doesn't mean you don't get the rest of the payment. This is surprisingly historical. It's also wipes out Yuanshao. The sons are still alive. Yuantan's kind of marginalized by his other brothers. I mean, Yuanshao's not here because Yuanshao's supposed to inherit Yuanshao's land. And then Zhang Yan's kind of being a passive player for Cao Cao's sake. Or working in Cao Cao's favor, basically. Now we'll just go, 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 go. Alright, looks like we're gonna get there pretty quick. Might be a little worried about bumping into potentially Gong Sun do stack, but aside from that. So I think here we want to summon her. Make sure she doesn't have any lack of purpose stack just by sitting there. So she'll sit here instead. We almost have 100k. We're doing very good as a bandit. We're stashing wealth. Have our own little corner and just following suit of whoever is uh, the big boss at the time, which right now is Hulk Hulk. And then in the future, we'll probably help Hulk Hulk fight Swin Yeah, it sounds about right. You're asking a little bit too much, man. Only 18? I was expecting more. Call guns down. Our per turn payment's gone. He's like, can I work for you? No. If you have items, I might take the items. Only a rooster. Pass. We don't even want it. Ready, go. Go. 
Two more turns, and he probably has a stack there. Yeah, our diplomacy money is going away. Once it all goes away, we're playing negative, decent, decently negative. Yeah, still decently negative. Probably fighting you next. We are Cao Cao's sword. Yeah, we'll finish the contract soon. Might as well get paid as much as possible. Oh, Shen Pei. Went to Yen. Uh, well, even if he's a spy. The funny thing is, his faction's gonna get wiped soon. But I don't think we need him. The satisfaction. Ooh, that's not bad. Dutiful is good. Direct. That's not a bad bonus, actually. We could keep him. 35 points. Right, he's not gonna do anything to us for this turn as a spy, and then his faction just done afterwards. So, what can he do after that? See, now he knows how to play this game, but it's too late. It's too late. I can't keep him light. We're under contract to kill him, so I don't want to burn Tal's halt. So I'm gonna have to burn him. They got a seat. Okay. And they're done. So, like before, since this is the last territory, we keep it and then we trade it afterwards. I think we take on the big boy. Bonzo is too far. You better pay us good for this. 2.8 only? Alright, we have so much stuff that we're not going to need. Here, even take one of these. Let's make it, let's make it nice. We're helping you fight a kingdom. Oh, can we get territory in this deal? Let's make it real nice then, Salt Salt. 20 turn payment. Of over 2,000. Enough to fund a second army for us, really. That's gonna, you know, fix itself very quickly. But we did find ourselves a strong enemy. Why can't I heal? I should be able to heal. That might be a slight bug, but we'll march our... we'll sail our way down? No, we'll march our way down. Through the obey to uh, actually, I think we can take the selling path. It'll be quicker. I shouldn't pay. Now you're working for us. Um, ooh, units that we can keep. Upkeep is a little high. 
But what we're going to do basically with this group, he's going to lead it. And just with that group of retinue, we're not going to increase any more two poison volleys. And then they're going to go... Gunning doesn't need any more levels, but Gunning can help them replenish. They should have stepped out. Uh, we'll take this turn mustering, and then next turn we'll... Mm. No, we won't even take this turn mustering. We're just going to go to the edge. We'll just do this. That should get fixed. Did you? Yeah, he went to go work for Yuntan and then immediately Yuntan lost the faction. So I think we're good. Any. Oh, his son. How long is the heir? We take the Yellow Turban Rebel territory. Like I said, we're going to rush the building tier 3, rank ourselves up, and then that army we might even build out to go fight to obey. I guess we want this. And the white wave veteran here is not too bad. All right, we don't want to go super low. Got 10 extra percent. I don't think we need it. We might get hit by John Fei's army. That's the only concern. Alright, we don't want to damage it. Or else we can't rush the building. We're going to pop to the other side. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, they can't reach us. Oh. Okay, we can't speed that up. We're going to hold it for one turn. Right, that's our only chance of getting this to tier 3. So we're going to hold it for one turn. Why can't we heal? What is going on? We... This is a bug. We have a contract. It's on. I should be able to heal here. Uh, I that that's that, that's it's really bad. Then then we have to. And we have to go here. That's a weird bug. We didn't get an updated mercenary bar on the top. We still have this outdated one with Renshaw. But we are definitely at war with Linsho right now. Alright, rush, 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 30 points. We're finally a bandit. We got more positions, which is nice, and we got all the bonuses. So now we can give this up. So run over here. Got land for you.
What is wrong with you? Okay, we're gonna sign this just just because it's weird. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's actively counting trespass. This is not being acknowledged by the game right now. Oh, Wintroll. Possibly a spy? Three items if we recruit him and fire him. They took his... Took his bow, took his weapon? Wait, it's Poarm? Yeah, Spear Infantry. Not what we need. All right, Master of Arm bonus is increased loot, redeployment. That's pretty good. Let's throw you in there. Wait, wait, hold on. This bonus is food production, loot, and enemy territory, which is actually not what we want. Cancel, cancel. We want this. Huh, not being able to heal in the territory makes this contract kind of hard to do. I actually think we don't need them on the field anymore. They did their thing. Now I don't have an updated bar. This is not the right bar. And we also don't have the replenishment. A little bit concerned about how we deal with this situation. Pay a bunch of stuff. Coalition. I mean, we probably should lock ourselves in with Tulsa. That's kind of what we're doing right now. Alright, I don't dare to pick up, but yeah, let's respectfully decline and pick up some fame and fortune because right now it's kind of awkward. Alright, so the healing part's not working, but everything else is working. We're gonna go with more expensive unit here. The town units are good. Xionu Cap I don't really like. I don't, mm, I don't even really like this one, ca the, the Cataphracts. Like, compared to them, we get like 12 extra charge. A lot more armor, but super, super slow. Use them as heavy cav, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's fancy enough that we'll use it. But that's about it. I don't think we change anything here. These, we don't really have much better unit to replace them with. This makes it very hard for us to operate. Like, we pretty much have to take the land, heal, and then trade it to him instead of getting points. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about it later. Let's heal up first. Been doing assignment for us forever. 
food related. So yeah, he's probably going to stay in assignment because we actually pay now as well, so he's probably not going to come out. Alright, we'll just end turn here. Reset our army. <laughs> That's not really a peace deal. That's extortion. It's like, pay us this or we keep fighting. Keep beat you up. Right? That's not a peace deal. Alright, picked up a reform. It's turn 63. We have gotten almost two-thirds of the way through our challenge. We now have a little bit of challenge because the game bugged out a little bit in terms of this contract situation where the previous one ended and the game doesn't know how to deal with the new one since it's not giving us the land properly. Either way, we're going to be walking through Salzal's territory. We're going to be avoiding the obeys. I don't think we want to really fight. It doesn't benefit us, right? Because we want to focus on the contract. So we want to sneak somehow into Sun Tzu's territory and fight him. There's a random piece here, but that's so random that we probably shouldn't go for it. We probably should go down here. It's a hard siege. We might want to get the other group to follow us. To help with fights. We might get Gunning out of his assignment. He can lead a group. Basically, health arrows, poison arrow, po uh, poison volley, poison volley, and then that would be another army for us. And we might run negative income, but we have saved up plenty to run negative income. And we'll march out together and kind of fix... Uh, not fix the contract, but honor the contract probably for two rounds. And we'll basically be a kingmaker for Cao And that's how we will end this challenge. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all next time. Bye.